terms of the Bath Master Plan, and Bruce has obviously got one sat down with you, and you yeah. talk about the stadium being redeveloped. Farley House is an amazing facility. You're talking about the medical care. Yeah. You've got to make that away changing room slightly bigger. Be your first <laughs> point of call, maybe Why? smaller. In, yeah, Why? maybe smaller in your in your mind. But uh, where 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 do you want Bath to be? Where do you want them to be in two? Yeah, year, we, want, we want to be the, we want to be at the very top. Um, you know, we want to be competing in the Champions Cup finals and the Premiership finals. I think. Um, the foundation is pretty good at the moment with Bruce. Uh, I think he's he's an unbelievable owner to, to work for because he's he, you know he, he understands the game and he and he's very patient um, and he understands that whatever we do, it's got to grow and it can't be just plucked and, and put together. You know, Toulon have done that potentially, uh, but it, it, we've gone down this avenue. So um, his ambition for to be right at the top, his ambition, which starts at the top with the owner. Is incredible. You know, he wants to invest in his own money in, in a new stadium, which I've seen the plans are totally fantastic. He supports me with investment in the squad and, and, and the off-field support. So, look, Austin, we, we make no bones about it. We we want to we want to be competing with the best. Not we want to we want to do really well in the Premiership this year, but next year we want to be in and around the semi-finals and finals of the Champions Cup. In terms of Bruce, we, we see him actually because he parks it right by the TV trucks. So but he's he comes out and he's like he's almost playing. He's got that look in his eye of, of a player. He's really up for the game, he's focused. Does that passion transfer through to you when you're talking to him about what's next? Without question. He, he played at a good level. He played at Racing Metro. He, he was a nine. Uh, so he's, he, he plays, he's very passionate. He watches all the rugby, Austin, honestly. He'll ring me up and say, have you watched that Super 15 game? Have you watched that Pro 12 game? He's on recruitment, he, that's why. He's, on, he's, <laughs> he's into the French, top 14 with the French teams. He's, he knows everything about the players and staff. And, you know, he, he he knows everybody's squad in the Premiership. He knows that if Leicester beat Wasps this week, what'll happen? Or if Saracens beat Exeter, or if, you know, all these different scenarios, he's worked it out in his head. Um, and he's he's good. We we meet every week, um, have lunch together. With, he buys, and um, you know, we talk about man. You know, we manage each other's expectations, and whatever decision we make, and we make it together. So there's no. Um, you know, the most, the no point of difference there. Yeah, let's look forward to this weekend then. Like you said, it is probably going to decide the top four this weekend. You can argue there's some difficult fixes in the final weekend, but uh, Friday night, Quinns have suddenly found a little bit of form. How concerning is that? Well, there's a lot of motion going to be on Friday. You know, Hugo retiring, um, George Robson's leaving at the end of the season. Um, they haven't got anything to play for now. Gloucester have qualified as seventh. Uh, but they're at home. Conor O'Shea and their coaching staff um, are a smart cookie team. Um, they've got a lot of pride to play for in front of their own fans. It's, you know, we know that if we win, we're guaranteed top four. So it's a huge game for us. It's a huge game and um, one that we're preparing really well for. So in looking at the league table, a win with a bonus point, you could almost argue you're guaranteed second. Is that the mindset going into it? Or are you just usual coach chat? No, they're just going to get a win. Are you, you going to go and play and try and get four tries? Yeah, we're going to play. We're going to. We're definitely going to play. Um, whether we get four tries or not, it, it, um, it's different matters. That's not our goal. Yeah. Our goal is to win, obviously. I think, you know, the respect we have for that, uh, the teams around us. You, you've got a Quinns, Leicester, Saracens, and Northampton have been in the top four for the last four or five years. It's been really difficult to break into, and I think we nearly did it last year. Uh, there's a few more teams around, like Wasps, the next to, and ourselves, who can crack it this year, which is great for the competition. I think. Um, but the respect we have for Quinns is, is unbelievable and look, uh, you give me a win now, I'll take it.